time. Mrs. Jackman flourished once he was dead, too. She seemed much happier. She just seemed much more relaxed and uh, just more at ease. I, I really felt that it just had taken a weight off her. And she didn't have Harry constantly telling her to pipe down. When Mary received her honorary doctorate from the University of Toronto, Nobel Prize winner John Polanyi described her as the most modest and generous of benefactors. Mary was committed to supporting Canadian independence and sovereignty. She understood both intuitively and intellectually that a country with an independent culture is a country with an independent spirit. Hers was a very strong legacy, a legacy of Christian belief, of service, of contribution, and of leadership. She dedicated her time, her energy, and her resources to building the new Jerusalem in Canada and in the world. She worked with great friends and colleagues who shared those passions. Mary's lifelong commitment to the arts, to education, to politics, to ecumenism, and to social justice was the gift that she gave to her family, to her friends, and to her country. Nancy did a lot for her. They do, meant a great deal to each other. I think of them going up the street together. And I think that was a wonderful gift that she did have. And I think Nancy is richer for it too. Sometimes we danced together. She was, she was distant and informal still. Um, so one way around that, to hold her if I wanted to be held, would be to dance with her. And that was quite permissible. So she lived it out till 90. She was reading a social justice book on poverty in Canada at the time of her death. What would I like to say to her? Um, my mom, it's great to uh, see you once again. Thank you for everything. I guess we don't, wouldn't mention any of the differences we had. And uh, hope you're doing well in heaven. And um, I, I hope you realize that we still care for you. And again, thanks for all the favors you did, like picking me up from boarding school, taking me on trips, and just talking to me about facts of life and everything else, and what is right and what is wrong. Thank you for your good example and for your upright courage and uh, strength. Thank you, Mother, for everything. And uh, may we be, may we pray for each other and may we be on earth the, the fulfillers of all that you had hoped for us. Amen. I felt that something important had gone from my life. And it was her herself, not the position she held, and the mother of a, a very successful man and wife of a successful man, mm. but a person in her own right. I take the quest of truth to mean to educate yourselves all your lives, to be open to experience, to test novelty with an open mind and a keen discretion, to have the courage to care deeply about such matters as social justice. We seek a community, a nation, a world where life is fair for everyone, where children are fed and treasured, where there is safety and clean air and no war, Life is an adventure. I can testify to that with every fiber of my 88-year-old self. The adventure has to do with love, but also, most poignantly, with the search for truth. When you have truth, you have meaning. And when you have meaning, you have it all.